Hey everyone. Some of you may have seen these clips already. I put them in a compilation video, but it was two hours long and some of you complained. Apparently you like short things. I was always told bigger is better, but hey, to each his own. So for those of you who enjoy the shorties, I'm gonna break this up and let's go to court. In the matter of the marriage of Thayer, 19 DM 197, announce appearances. Jennifer Harper appears on behalf of DCF. All right, you are Clayton Thayer? Yes. Okay. Mr. Thayer, I can't tell. Do you have a hat? Is that a hat or a... No, sorry, it's a headband. All right, yeah, we're... I understand. Sorry. I apologize. That's, okay. That's fine. Um, it's... It happens frequently, and uh, yeah. but this is actually a court of law, so we do have some. We still have to follow some dress codes. So anyway, yeah, I, I apologize. Your apologies accepted. All right, we are uh, uh, on for a contempt citation. The court reviewed the order filed back, um, I think, on March eighth, um, which was the original contempt order where the defendant agreed he was in contempt and certain promises were made to purge himself. So where are we at, Ms. Harper? Well, Your Honor, since that time, we've continued to work with Mr. Thayer, including, as you see, there's a motion for modification in there. Correct. However, payments have still not been coming in. The last payment that was made was on April 2nd of this year. Okay. So at this point, we are requesting that an attorney be appointed for him. Okay. Ms. Sherry, let's talk about that request. you know what that means? Yes. Well, I what think you, so. Tell me what you think it means. I just Are they going to represent me, I, I'm guessing? Or I, I don't, don't know. know. I guess I don't okay. know what it means. All right. Here's what she's... The reason um, Ms. Harper is asking that you be a appointed counsel is she's going to ask that you be placed in jail. Um. Failure to abide, you 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 can't be put in jail in the United States for being in debt, but you can be put in jail for failing to comply with a court order. Yeah. You have a court order for child support. You are not in compliance. You've admitted that. You have failed to live up to the promises you made at the last hearing to purge yourself of that contempt. So now she feels her only remedy is to ask that you be placed in jail. The court is very hesitant to do that, but the court has done it in the past. Uh, but an attorney would get, give you a chance to be represented, to advocate and argue why you should not be placed in jail for failing to abide by the court order. Here's the practical effect of it. You have to pay for the lawyer. The, le the, the county, unfortunately, and this is the bizarre thing in Kansas, uh, the taxpayers have to pay for your lawyer and they deserve to be reimbursed because this isn't their problem. Well, directly their problem. However, it's the only uh, avenue we have. So I will order you to pay those legal fees. So not only are you still going to owe all the back child support, you're going to owe the child support that's due and coming payable in the future, but now we're going to add an attorney fee to it. Uh, and you need to understand that that, I'm not saying that's what I'll do, put you in jail, but that's the remedy that Ms. Harper is going to seek. Okay. okay? I understand. You do. Okay. So, um, Unless you can come up with something right now that says, oh, judge, now I'm taking this serious and I'm going to make a large payment and continue to make payments. I'm I'm going to when we conclude this hearing, going to reach out and try to find a lawyer to represent you and appoint an attorney at your expense. OK. Um, so, sorry. So, you know, sorry, I, I, I'm sure you're sincere, but sorry just doesn't cut it right now. Oh, no, I, I meant I. Thought I was interrupting you. Oh, oh, no, no, that's all right. Uh, so what do you want to do? Uh, I want to pay and I want to get caught up and everything. It's I I can make every excuse in the world, but there's been a lot of things going on, especially the past two months. And I know I haven't been good about it, but the past two months have been just really bad. My dad had a massive heart attack. <sighs> about two months ago and he died about a week and a half ago and I've been trying to take care of family matters and my mom and my dad's business and he did not have health insurance or life insurance so I'm trying to figure out all that and I haven't had I haven't been able to work 
because I've been in Kansas City, I've been in Hayes, I just haven't had an opportunity to breathe. That doesn't give an excuse for all the other times. I understand that, but I, I'm not willingly trying not to pay it. I hope you understand that there's just certain things that's happened. And I can tell you, uh, I was engaged to a, a woman. I was with her for about four years and she had three kids. And then we had one of our own and her ex-husband never paid child support. And this is not, well, it's not an excuse for me, but they live with me and I had all their expenses to deal with too. And like I said, I know that's not an excuse for me, but that was just what I was dealing with. And that's not an issue anymore because they're no longer here or living with me. So I don't have to pay for any of their stuff or feel obliged to pay for any of their stuff. I just, I guess... I'm just going to ask if you could just give me a chance to prove that I can pay it a, a month or whatever you deem fit. And just, I mean, if we can do that and I can prove to you that I'm going to pay it and I'm going to be sincere about it. I just want a chance. And I know I've give, gotten a lot of chances, but I'm just asking for one more, please. Well, Mr. Thayer, um, uh, life is full of those kinds of events and circumstances, all right? The fact, you know, I'm going to be, it's going to sound sarcastic, but here's here's the reality. You were supporting some other person's children while your yeah. two children went without support. That is not something that the court's going to condone. I think by my yeah. looking at this, you've got roughly, your children are 15 and 12, somewhere in that range. Yeah. And... Um, you know, they haven't had any support for a long period of time. So uh, now I hope to, I hope to, I, I hope to win the lottery tonight, but I don't really have a realistic expectation that that's going to happen. And I sure I'm not going to plan my finances over around that. So give me a plan. Give me something concrete. You, you, you promised to pay, I think $200 a month. Was that right, Miss Harper? 200 every, 200 every two weeks, I believe. But since it got modified, I I was supposed to pay four fifty a month and I think a hundred and fifty and back for the back child support. Well back in uh, in March, on March eighth he was ordered to pay a hundred dollars a week. Is that right, Miss Harper? Believe so, Your Honor. Give me one second. And then let me look and see if that was modified. It and there was an order modifying child support and four fifty a month. He was ordered to pay at that time, and that was in July. Uh, and would that have been just for current and nothing towards arrears? That is just his current payment. Yes. Okay. Um, and that was based upon Mr. Thayer making roughly, I'm not even sure if that's close, somewhere around minimum wage, uh, not very much money, 26000 a year. Um, so, and then we continued the hearing back in uh I signed the order in August, but we continued about a month ago to give him a chance to purge himself and he's not making the payment. So, Mr. Thayer, I hope to do this. I hope to prove it. I got to have something more than hope. What, what, what is your, what, what, what do you usually work in? What's your employment generally? Well, I, are you asking? I, I'm self employed, which I worked for part time for my dad and, since he's gone, construction work, painting, okay. that, that kind of stuff. But, uh, I mean, I got back to work last week. and Who are you uh, working for? I'm working for myself. Okay. It's my understanding that the construction industry, they're, they're looking for skilled labor and they're paying substantial. 
I, I understand. successful ind independently. Why don't you go get a job? Well, I understand that, but my mom is relying on me because she is running the construction company now, and I have to be the one that holds it because she has no other avenue. Okay. And how is your mom going to do that if you're sitting in jail? That's why I'm asking for a chance, sir. That's not a chance, Mr. Taylor. I understand it, but that is not a plan. I got to have, you, you can't just say, I'm going to pay this and not pay it and then come back and say, oh, gee, I had these circumstances. Please give me another chance. You got to give us, Ms. Harper, particularly in the court, something more concrete to rely on because you've been making promises now for, I mean, since March and you haven't fulfilled them. You haven't made a I payment since April. That's May, June, July, August. Well, how am I supposed to, what, what am I supposed to do to give you concrete evidence? I mean, I don't, what, what do you want me to do? Well, uh, I want you to give me something that I can, if you went to a bank, you think they'd say, okay, here, let me give you some money on, on a, on a promise of hope. Okay. So what am I supposed to payments do? coming in? What's your budget? What's your, I mean, you got to show us something. I mean, that's what you would do if you went to a bank. You would sit down and you would show them, here's here's current con uh, contracts I've got. Here's the payment schedule. Here's my expenses. Here's my net. Here's what I can apply. That's what you do in business. That's what we're talking okay. about. Well, if you want to know about my business, I can tell you about my business. Is, is that what you want me? Or? I want, and, and out of that, we'd have to determine what you can pay and when you can pay it. Not, I hope to get this taken care of. You see the difference? Not entirely. I, well, I mean, maybe that's why you shouldn't be self-employed, because that's what I'm getting at. You, you have to understand, Mr. I'm not here to argue with him saying this is a business thing. You have got to perform. If you fail to perform, you owe a debt, a debt. Yeah. The only debt you owe that could put you in jail. You have to come forward with a concrete plan with documentation to back it up so that me acting as a banker or loan officer could sit down and say, yes, this is a secure, this is a secure payment plan for a loan and obligation that the person has. Okay. That's the so, way the world works. Okay. So can I give you a budget plan or uh, a business plan and submit well, it into you? Um. I'm going to ask. I mean, Ms. obviously, don't have I'm it. Going to, I'm going to ask Miss Harper, um, based on our conversation, whether she still wants to appoint a lawyer or if she wants to give you the opportunity to come in with a concrete plan that you're going to present to her to satisfy her that you're going to make payments in the future, not only to satisfy your current support obligation, which is most important, but also to start paying towards the arrearage, Miss Harper. Because otherwise, we're just going to have a hearing 30 days from now. You're going to say, gee, Judge, I hope to get this done. Gee, Judge. I, and and she's going to say, put him in jail. So I put you in jail. I mean, you're not making payments anyway, so <clears throat> we don't lose anything, um, quite frankly. So, uh, And you can say, well, yeah, but then I can't work. But what difference does it make to us? You're not making payments anyway. Yeah, well, I don't. I don't. I, 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 what am I supposed to say? I can't argue with you. I know because I'm 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 the judge, but also because you know, know I'm right. I mean, you know that that's what you got to do. So, Miss Harper, what do you want to do? Do you want to give it thirty days for him to provide to you a concrete, reliable plan to make these payments, or do you want to just schedule thirty days out, run up an attorney fee, and ask to put him in jail? You tell me. You have every right to do that. I'm I'm I just don't know. I, I'm this is you know from doing this. You do this full time. This is always the court's dilemma. Put him in jail, but in jail, all he costs the taxpayers 35 to 50 bucks a day to feed him and keep him over there. Um, and we, and you know, and yes, it it puts a scare in him, but we don't get any money out of it. Your Honor, I've spoken with Mr. Thayer multiple, multiple, multiple times. And the basic conversation he had today is a conversation we basically have every time where I warn him not paying could result in going to jail. He makes promises to pay. He says, I have things lined up so that I can pay. And then when we come back, it's, well, there are circumstances that changed. When asked about employment, he stated, well, he has to be self-employed because you know he has to support or help his mother. 
but that means that he's not helping and supporting his children who he has an actual obligation to support correct this has been going on so long i think we do need to go ahead and have an attorney appointed because i do fear that we'll come back in 30 days and it'll be the same song and dance well i agree with you but what i'm going to do is this mr thayer i couldn't be any more clear on what you need to do you call Miss Miss Harper and you say, boy, I sure hope to get it done in this next month. But boy, I've had some other circumstances. I had a bill come in or I had this or I had that. Everybody's got it. OK, I got to plan a budget with my wife. I got five kids. OK, uh, and I'm still supporting some of them, even though they're adults, because they're still in school. And I have to set a budget out and I have to make my payments. OK, I got loans. I got a service every month. All right. So you're going to do what? A majority of the people in this country do and that is you are going to put together a concrete plan and you are going to present it to miss harper and say sandy go ahead and find us a new court date about 30 days out and you're gonna and miss harper i'm going to ask if after he furnishes it to you and you ask him questions that you forward to me what the plan is and we're going to sit down 30 days from now mr thayer and i'm going to tell you as your banker whether it's satisfactory or I'm going to call the note due. You understand? Then you're not going to be able to support your mom. You're not going to be able to support your kids. And you're going to meet a whole bunch of people over in the jail you're not going to like to associate with. But that's eventually what the result's going to be. But I'll appoint you a lawyer 30 days from now. We're just kicking the can down the road. Then you're going to have a legal bill. You're going to have to add to that uh, list of obligations. And we're going to have a final hearing. So we're going to stretch it out. We're going to buy you a little time. You better make productive use of it. So 30 days, within the next 30 days, before the next hearing, you must provide a concrete plan. And this is going to include, these are the jobs I currently have. This is the payment schedule on these jobs. And I know if you're doing construction, you got to pay for materials. And you may even have to pay for some subcontracts. I don't know. You're going to set all that out for Ms. Harper so you can look at it and say, okay, he's got a payment due on such and such a date, and he's going to sign this much of the payment to his current child support, as well as potentially some of the back. I think the current's more important than the arrears. We can work on that over time. But if she comes to me and says what she said today, judge, it's just the same song and dance. I'll appoint a lawyer at the next hearing. We'll set another hearing 30 days out, and you can start planning to pack your toothbrush and, and items because you you know where you're going to be checking into. You understand? I, do. I, can't, be, I can't be any clearer. So we're going to let you buy some time. You can either make productive use of it or uh, know the consequences could be severe. So you've got to provide it to Ms. Harper to her satisfaction. She will send it to me. And I may disagree with her a little bit, but I want to, you know, or she may say, I think it's good. And I'm going to say, no, I don't think it's fine tuned enough. I want something concrete. And that means specific facts. I want to know who the contract is you're working for. I want to know what the payment is. I want to know when the payment is due. I want to know future contracts you have on the horizon. I want to know when those are going to pay out. I want to know what the net is to you. I want to, you know, and yes, and guess who's going to come first? Your child support. Then comes your mom. Okay. Understood? I understand. I okay. understand. All right. So we'll give you a little time, but now we're all have a clear understanding of where we're going. So okay. I appreciate it. I appreciate it very much. Okay. Um, what about September 30th at nine, Jennifer? Uh, it's all that's only 20, 24 days. What's the next? What do we have? We have anything in October? Um, I, I could do the 16th like at, 9 30. Well, no, I can't. No, no, no. Let's not. Hold on. Hold on. What about the seventh? Like at 1 30. That's actually criminal motion day, but we could squeeze this in because there's something that's available. Yeah. yeah. I don't yeah. How would that work, Miss Harper? October 7th at 1 30? Uh-huh. Yes, I'm available. Okay, Perfect. let's do that. Mr. Thayer, you've now got 31 days to put this to, uh, in fact, don't present it that day to Ms. Harper. So I'm going to order no. you to have a concrete plan to her. Let's talk about that, Ms. Harper. I want to set up some, I ask you to put this in a journal entry. Um, 
what do you need two weeks to um to review this and maybe contact mr thayer about any questions you have would that be sufficient yes or, Ron, should be. okay you're going to have your plan to her by the 23rd of september okay that's a that's now, a month am i supposed to come in and do it personally or over email or how whatever ms. Har whatever miss harper says it would be best to do that during email your honor okay not in the actual office all that often right you're going to email her you got an I, I want to know you're gonna to have to list like these are these are my average monthly expenses that are dedicated that are, you know you also have to be able to pay your you, your lights and your uh and, and a grocery bill i understand that because you got to eat to continue to work reasonable expenses are fine but you got to set it all out and there's an affidavit that we use it's called domestic relations affidavit um well probably want to get one that's the full full one so you could I want to look at if you're going to claim all these expenses, I want to know what they are. Yeah. You know, uh, in other words, and I, I throw this out. In other words, if your expenses are I need to buy cigarettes and and snowballs at serves, no, 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 no. Okay. That um this, you know, if I gotta buy bread and, and water and milk, then that's fine. But uh you gotta set that out. Miss Harper, can you have an email address, uh, Mr. Thayer? Yeah, yes, uh, she got emailed before. Okay, so yeah. email before. So you're going to email stuff to her, and you're going to have a concrete plan to her with documentation to back it up, just like you're dealing with a banker by the 23rd of September. That way, she can get in touch with you with any questions, and we will all meet again on October 7th at 1:30. All right, and that's the drop dead date. Yep. Very good, Miss Harper. If you'll. Uh, prepare a short journal entry from today and I will wish you good luck with Mr. Thayer. Mr. Thayer, I'm going to wish you good luck too. I want this thing to work out. I really do. I'm not in here to start nitpicking and finding a way to put you in jail. I want you out working, making money and making payments, but I, I can't rely. I'm not going to hold off doing uh, the sanctions on a promise of hope. Yeah, I understand. Okay. Very good. All right. Ms. Harper, anything else for today? No, Your Honor. All right. Mr. Thayer? Good luck, yep. uh, Harper, good luck, and I'll see everybody on October 7th. Okay.